Alléluia. Alléluia. Kali du medisa kali viso le matlala Jesus Christ to all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Christ. Amen. Thank you praise and worship. Arba chapelle matsogo modimo le tsa gantle. Amen. Ke kopa fela go sale ko mo khibotong. Alléluia. The Lord is good. God is good. Modimo o lokile. O nkulunkululungile. Alléluia. We are going to go straight to the word of God. Hallelujah. So today we are speaking about seven hoods. We are talking about seven hood. What do we mean by seven hood? Keying the seven hood that we are talking about. Hallelujah. And where do we find Tabaya the seven hood? And why is it important for us? Hallelujah. Why Tamea resebelates? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to be servant. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. It is very important that each and every one of us, you cannot and not become a servant. Amen. It is impossible to walk with God and not become a servant. Amen. Hallelujah. If you cannot abide by the principles, Amen. You need to abide by the principles, Amen. You cannot build a house that does not have a foundation. A house needs to have a foundation in order for it to recognize. Hallelujah. You need to be planted somewhere in order for you to grow. Amen. So people these days, they want to grow without not being planted. You cannot put a seat on the chair and expect it to grow. Amen. Hallelujah. But this is what we are doing. We don't want to save. We want to be saved. Amen. 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 must only feed us, but we don't want to feed others. Hallelujah. Let's go to the word of God in the book of Luke, chapter 22. Luke 22. And then we are going to read verse 27. Luke 22, verse 27. Hallelujah. Are we there? Amen. Hallelujah. It's not even complicated. It is straight to the point. Hallelujah. And then here, God is trying to show us Christ was speaking to the disciples. And then as he was speaking to the disciples, it's because of a dispute. There was quarrels amongst them. Amen. They were quarreling to say, who is the greatest? Amongst them. Amen. Hallelujah. And then Morena Jesus was trying to show to them that born in order for you to be great, you need to be a servant. Hallelujah. Because of some of the people, they are running for positions without not enjoying the processes. Amen. Baba tafela hori, ebe bless me gospel. Hallelujah. It cannot be a bless me gospel without you not going through the process. That's why tafita uvelela mantua. And even if I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will not fear no evil. Amen. Hallelujah. I need to walk through. I must know that as mwanawa mudimu, a time will come where things are difficult. It cannot be bless me, bless me. Amen. But it will be time you need to be challenged. Hallelujah. When he was after fasting, the enemy came to him. Amen. And then when the enemy came to him, he was trying to convince him. He was trying to derail him. Hallelujah. But knowing that he is a servant, he did not jump to the tune of the enemy. People are jumping to the tune of the enemy because of what they can get. Amen. Hallelujah. As is his tool. Amen. But you did not save towards that chair. Amen. Hallelujah. You need to be a servant. 
in order for you to get to where you are. Amen. Morena Cheso had only fell on the right hand side of the Father for Justin J because of he's only the Son of God. No. Amen. He had to go through the, the processes. Hallelujah. And then one of them was for him to get to the cross. Do you think it was funny? It was nice for him. Eh? It was not. Hallelujah. And then that's what sevenhood is about. It's about putting others before you. Hallelujah. Not putting myself before the needs of others. Hallelujah. But putting others before me. Amen. He did not need to go to the cross. He was the son of God for heaven's sake. Hallelujah. Amen. Bona, him not going to the cross was not going to change who he is. Hallelujah. And God was going to still be pleased with him. Amen. But these days, we don't want to save. Hallelujah. We don't want to enjoy the processes. Amen. We want things to just generally grow without them being planted. Amen. Hallelujah. We want to give birth to children that were not conceived. Amen. Hallelujah. How can you give birth whereas you have not conceived? Eh? Matsatsi a re batla o producer ba zalwane ba ileng horo ke du o hodile klar you can't hallelujah you need to go through the right steps a seed is planted and a seed bona when you plant a seed it dies before it can grow it enjoy the pain yamu it enjoy the pain of the heat hallelujah Sevenhood. Does it mean that sevenhood No. It means that you know your position and you are not shaken by whatever that comes your way. Hallelujah. When you read Genesis, God came and asked them, where are you? Because of where he has placed them, they were not there. They moved because of things because of what they can get. They lost what they, who they are for the sake of what they can get. They are losing their core, their position. For the long they can get. And remember, when the enemy gives you something, he has something, in, he wants something in return. He wanted their glory to move from them. But they did not know. Amen. I don't know what is it that the enemy has come to you with it. In this incident, he wanted to bring pride to the disciples. Let's start quarrel. Let's start fight. I'm better than you. You are nothing. I can serve better than you. They started jumping to the tune. Praise God. Praise God that Jesus was amongst them. And he is with us even today. He's still with us. Praise God. Hallelujah. If he was not with them, trouble was going to happen. Hallelujah. I don't know. They are busy destroying one another because of they don't want to be servants. Everybody wants to sit at the table. And then, but Kisa scared. Kisa scared. But no one wants to prepare that water. Amen. No one wants to bring the very same water, but they want to drink it. Hallelujah. They want this food, but how about who they prepare? Amen. How can you eat if you have not prepared? A lazy person must not what? Must not eat again. Because of how can you be lazy and eat from which food did you prepare? Did prepare like a man Hey? They don't want to pray. They don't want to pray these days. Amen. 
How son are those times where long children of God are coming and crying for the kingdom of God? Amen. Everybody wants what God can give. If I can have this, I can run with it. Sevenhood. Bona. There's nothing nice ka sevenhood. Nothing nice. Amen. Hobala buka as I er when he came, he did not even the format at Lenkayona. Bona, he did not even have shape a right. People they did not even want to look at him, but he was the son of God. So Mukreste, you need to serve at the table. You must not be served at the table. Hallelujah. For who he is great. The one who is at the table or the one who serves, is it not the one who is at the table? But I am amongst you and I'm the one that is saving. Jesus was saying, Kobona, I am greater than you at all level, but I am willing, I'm here to save you. Amen. Hallelujah. So he was teaching them that seven wood is greater than you receiving. Hallelujah. We need to be seven. Amen. Born, he came with all structures. When he was born, he was born as a son of God. Hallelujah. But when you read in the book of Philippians, evil elements are very clear. When he was born, he and then he was able to enjoy the nature of human beings. He was tempted in the same way that you and I we are tempted. Amen. Asanga Aberekisa, the advantage of being the Son of God. Hallelujah. But he said, I'm going to go and understand why are they crying and so I cannot make it. I need to come in a form of men so that I can relate to where they are and what they are crying about. Hallelujah. These days, the churches, they don't want to relate with God. Amen. Hallelujah. But he left his holy throne. He came to the land where it was seen. He came for you. He said, it doesn't matter what you are going through. I'm going to take off this garment, this holy garment, for the sake of your life. I'm going to come down for you so that you can be saved. But today we are playing and saying, no, now I cannot go down on my knees. I cannot bow down. My position does not allow me to bow down. My status does not allow me to bow down. I cannot be praying in public. People but can see Abiyang. Pride comes before the fall. Seven wood does not link with pride. Actually, the opposite. Hallelujah. We need to be servants. Let's go to Philippians chapter 2, verse 7. Lentula Mudimulere, he made himself nothing. 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 He made himself nothing. He who had everything became nothing. That is what servanthood is about. He had all. He gave it all. Nothing. Amen. He had bona, all the riches, everything, life and death. They, 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 are, they are controlled by him. They are just in the palm of his hand. But he left everything because of servanthood. What are you willing to live? Hallelujah. Rather he, rather he made himself nothing 
but by taking the very nature of a servant. Why is Ari the very nature of a human being? It is the very nature of a servant. Hallelujah. He took the very nature of a servant. God from birth, he knew that I am coming to save. I'm not coming to be saved. I'm coming to prepare the table. That's why Lenzo Lamuri Mulering, he prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemy. He comes, he comes, he comes, he comes, he comes, that's who he is. Amen. Hallelujah. Bona DNA ya hai itlie is straight to the point. Hallelujah. Bona Peter hanya ko is you God. Bona o mana kan tsetse pedi tsa simple. Ka bread. Holy communion. That's when he sees that he's him. This is the DNA that he had. Hallelujah. And then always he was the one that was saving. Amen. Hallelujah. He was not the one that always by his hand, but he tore around him. But these days, everyone must tiptoe around us. That's wrong. That's not seven wood. Seven wood, it means that I am leaving myself. That means I abide by what he say, when he say it, how he say it. Hallelujah. That is who we are supposed to when we are saving at the table. Amen. Lenzola mudi muho bala buka ya Matthew chapter 20. Ere he came to save. Estreit utile kutro sebeleza. Hallelujah. Do we still want to be the children of God? Recently, we have been talking about the fact that we are not going to be Can you save? Eh? Unconditionally. He saved unconditionally. Regardlessly. Amen. Whether treated nice, whether mistreated. Amen. Town to town, his life was threatened. Nebale ready to kill him every town where he went because of he was disturbing their way of life. Their way of life, it was like, okay, if you come, what is in it for me? Amen. It is for me. Hallelujah. Seven wood is not about what is in it for you. If you have that mentality, know that that is wrong. Amen. I'm about to conclude. John 13. Hallelujah. This is the time when he was about to serve the Last Supper. Amen. He knew that the time is coming for him. Hallelujah. Lensula Mudimuleri. He took off the towel and I repeal it. And then he took it off. The garment. Amen. And he started washing their feet. Remember back then, they were walking, they were not driving. Hallelujah. They would walk a distance such as men lane to go and preach. They were walking. Amen. So for him as a son of God, for him as the king of kings, to bow Mofasi and say, Scotolo Asisi, let me wash your feet. Let me show you that I am willing. Hallelujah. Even when it cost my life, even if it cost everything from me, but I am willing. Amen. Lensula Murimulere, he started washing their feet. Peter realizing that this is God himself. He said, ha ah, you cannot wash my feet. When I'm rain, it's supposed to be the other way around. Amen. Hallelujah. But he did not understand the revelation behind it. That if I don't wash your feet, your sins will not be forgiven. 
Amen. So if you are willing to take your life upon yourself, like Peter was trying to suggest, it's fine. But you must know that you cannot be within the scroll. Peter hearing that, he said, Morena, not only my feet, but let my hands as well. Hallelujah. Are you willing to go down in order for you to receive the crown? Are you willing to save towards the crown? Hallelujah. This is seven wood. We don't just say it. We live it. There is no better servant that we can bring than Jesus himself. Hallelujah. And then when we say Mudimu, we need to have the character of him that lives inside of us. Hallelujah. And in that character, it means that I need to be able to pick up a chair and say, I'm going to put a chair for you so that you can sit. Hallelujah. I wouldn't be saying, bring me a chair so that I can sit. Hallelujah. That seven hood, he left his holy throne for all of us. Kemutimua Israel. This is the God that we are saving. We need to be servant. And then we mustn't say Rebanaba Mudim and not leave the seven wood. Hallelujah. When you leave this Christ that you are talking about, when you are practicing this Christ that you are talking about, that's when we know that you are a servant of God. Amen. There's many titles say long horobatu. They are calling themselves kazon. But their actions, they do not match the title. Hallelujah. Your works must be able to match your title. If you are saying ongwana mudimu, can your action resemble ongwana mudimu na? Hallelujah. Servanthood, it is upon Christ. You cannot walk with him and remain the same. He prepares a table in the presence of my enemy. He came ready prepared to save. He did not come ready to be lifted up. Because of the very same people that they were trying to glorify, two days later are the ones that are saying crucify him. You see, if you are going to run with the mood of the crowd, you will lose who you are. And then you will die very painful death. You will lose who you are. You will lose your servanthood. You will lose the glory of God. And start now being Hallelujah. So if you don't change, you are going to be able to behave like a pig. That's when you move away from the presence of God. Who told you that you are naked? Eh? All this time, all these years, what have you done? Seven wood, it is very simple. Holiness, seven wood, clar. Hallelujah. Holiness, seven wood. Not pride, not boastful, not arrogance. Amen. But being willing to sweep the floor. Being willing to take others along. Being willing to say, Fita. Being willing to say, here's the way. Please. Amen. That is servanthood. And that's why Christ was able to say, let me wash your feet. Hallelujah. And mind you, they were tired. He was tired. Remember when they were walking with him, he was the one that was preaching. They were accompanying him. After preaching, after everything, he still had the time to say, 
let me wash your feet. Do you have the capacity? Do you have the capability? Okaya kofatsina. And leave everything. Hallelujah. That is what servanthood is. He left his holy throne. He who had everything was made to lose everything in order to save Bupilo Bahao Lebak. I don't know where you are, but surely I don't want to lose who I am in Christ. And I believe that my brother and my sisters, Mudimu Ulibidita Kasapio, and I know that as he has called, as he has died for your life and mine, so that he can save us, don't play God the salvation. Come and save. Come and save at the table. Hallelujah. Don't sit. Many people have accepted Christ, but they have not even to date tell only one person about Jesus being the Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. We need to be servant. A seed will not grow on the chair. If you sit on a chair, will you grow? Remember you are a seed and a seed that sits will not grow. But a seed that is planted will grow. Can we stand on our feet? As we are standing on our feet, if you are here, you have not accepted Christ as the Lord and Savior of your life, here's an opportunity. We don't want to leave you behind. That God is not pleased by a death of a sinner. He is not pleased when a sinner dies. Hallelujah. Because of me, seven to eight mulatte langke non son so fele mulatte langa kir. Amen. But me seven to yeah, a righteous man pleases the Lord. The word of God says, when Stephen was being stoned, he looked up and says, I can see heaven, born standing. Amen. Hallelujah. Ki bona le hodi mo liye me. Because of me seven to yeah high. But when a sinner dies, heaven will not stand. So I don't want to leave you behind, my brother and my sister. I don't want that one day God will say, but you were sitting at the service. What did you do at the message that I've given to you? So, if you are here, you want to accept him as the Lord and Savior, please come forward. If you want to accept him as the Lord and Savior, come forward. <laughs>